Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We were boatless today and I am with the boatless angler. And today folks, we're looking for that steel Niagara River steelhead bite. I'm gonna be running the uh, bait pockets today. I brought all sizes, all colors, and I'm gonna mix it up a bit uh, with colors, that is, uh, and sizes. But uh, typically the water's pretty clear, so I'm gonna stay with the smaller sizes, I think, this morning. And I'm running the typical, what I have is the typical, what I'm gonna say, typical bottom bounce rig uh, that is commonly used for bottom bouncing river systems and fishing for trout. And uh, when you're hooking up your bait pockets or if you're fishing with row bags, either way, um, I just like to poke it right through on the top half or the bottom half, leaving a little bit of uh, hook gap exposure. That way you've got plenty of hook gap when you go to set the hook and nothing interferes with your hook set, which is ideal. And this is the typical, that's a typical bottom bounce rig right there. I've got a, a, a size small T-turn, which is 35 pound. You could go extra small if you want. There's even a smaller one, but I like the size small right there. And then about, uh, oh, four inches or so to a sinker. And then about two feet to, uh, to a hook. And I like to run... I guess unlike most bottom bounce trout, trout anglers who use really small hooks, I like to use them a little bit bigger. So I'm running typically a size four or size six hook. And what I found is it doesn't interfere with the bite. However, it does help me with the hook sets. So we're just gonna bottom bounce that sinker along in this current, work those uh, bait pockets and row bags Got a little bit of weather happening today, but that's okay. And hopefully, we can we can uh, hook into a fish. So stay tuned, folks. So <laughs> the boatless angler has struck. Same day, different spot. We gave that spot what about an hour and a half? Yeah, it wasn't producing. Wasn't producing. So the boatless angler says, "Let's go upstream." Okay. <laughs> Third, fourth cast in, and he strikes. Beautiful. Now I talked about the bait pockets and the different sizes and different colors. General rule, smaller row bags, clearer water, and that more natural color, clear water as well. Like the hot pink, I like to run in a stained water. But in a clear water, I like to use the orange or the chartreuse. Got some size to them? Uh, I don't think so. Might be a good eater. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, there. That little guy. I got a great recipe for steelhead. We'll put a link here for you if you're interested. Because they are very, very tasty. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's that's a beauty. They're just gorgeous colors. Wow, look at the shape of head. What are you running for line? Six pound test. Six pound? Yep. Okay, very, very gently. You see your T-turn there, beautiful. Oh, that is a really nice steelhead, Antonio. And you know what? That is a good eater. Oh, nice looking one too. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and let me, uh, you know what? That's, that's worth a nice photo too. Is he bleeding a bit there? Yeah, he inhaled it. Oh, he and inhaled it. it. He's have bleeding. To be a keeper. He's bleeding like a sieve. He's definitely a keeper. Oh, wow. That <laughs> Look at egg him. is deep. Wow, he just inhaled it. He inhaled it. Oh, yeah. He, he, your roll bag is right down in there. But look at that. It's gorgeous fish. Nice you know, fish. Let me grab my camera. I'm going to take a picture of that for you, okay? Perfect. Look at the blood. Oh. Okay. Nice male. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish, Antonio. Gave you a nice bite, did he? He did. Just smash it. Oops. Big pockets. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a picture right in the net. How's that? Beautiful. You want one of them? Lift yeah, them up sure. and I'll snag one and I'll, I'll take one with them. 
Wow, he's still bleeding. Beautiful fish here. Let's show the folks at home and I'll... Oh, oh, that's almost a catch of the There you go. I'll hold it. Look at the colors on them. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish, Antonio. And... Smile. Nice. That's a great photo in this in this rain with the backdrop. Beautiful. Holy, did he ever eat that? It's right in there, isn't it? <laughs> now, I got a pliers here. Okay. But he is a good eater regardless, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I think you would have kept him regardless. I would have. Because that's just a that's just a nice eater right there. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Just happen to have him handy. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy. Well, I will tell you one thing. He'll be all bled out and that meat will be all white. <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> it's actually really strong. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, it's right in there. Gee. He mind. wanted that roll badly. Oh, he put some floats in yours too, I see. Nice. There okay. you go. Well, you know what? That's a beautiful fish. Made your day, didn't it? It did. Well, you know what else could make your day? How about a nice hot cup of espresso and a piece of my homemade apple pie? Sounds good. I'm chilled out here in the cold. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do. But bottom bouncing for steelhead. Find the short line, shoreline, boatless angling. You don't need a boat. Catch yourself a nice fish. Oh, he's really bleeding now. Look at the blood on this. You got to check this out, folks. Look at, the, look at the blood coming out of him. I don't know if you could see the stain in that water, but he is really, really bleeding. So, good thing we're going to keep him. And you know, that's just one other thing. If you're a catch and release angler and you do hook a fish a little bit deep, by all means, keep that fish. It makes for great table fare. And they say you should be eating fish like twice a week, so for a good healthy diet. Anyhow, folks, I want to thank you for joining us on today's episode of Thundermas Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Nice fish. Thanks. Espresso time. <laughs>